Hello everyone, welcome to another WPAT webinar. We're gonna be talking again about the auto charts and we're gonna review the what happened the last time we traded and place a few more trades so we can have a full understanding of uh, how to use this tool. Don't forget to like, subscribe and activate the notifications so you can see more of this content. So before I move on, just remember that Forex and derivatives are traded on margin. This carries a significant amount of risk. We will be trading as always on a demo account and this is for education purposes only. Do not copy uh, on your own account. Um, and if you do feel that the strategies matches whatever you, uh, you already have it on your side, uh, make sure that you fully understand what's going on before placing any trade, right? Remember, nobody's better than yourself to take care of your own money. Now, jumping here, we already have the, the Recognia open. Uh, I filtered the, the others, uh, the opportunities here. I'm, remo I'm removing the emerging, emerging and the approaches, right? I'm only the, the completed or the, the, the breakouts because uh, those are will be the, the patterns that me personally I feel that they're more certain and another thing you're gonna see is that on the on the direction that they the trade chart is give us uh, they'll have the the clear color instead of just the gray out so this is to show uh, uh, they, they'll be the ones that actually have the, the targets for you. A lot of the, a lot of these others here, they will not have a clear target. See the forecast price, it doesn't have it. So then, that's basically the the reason why I'm using more about those. Uh, so just so we can have the, the take profit set. But again, uh, make sure that it's uh, it matches whatever you have first before trading. Now, before we move on to the trading itself, this is the account that we were trading uh, last time. Uh, one of uh, two orders were pro positive, hitting the take profits, and then one or hit the, the stop loss. And then I want to show you a little bit more of this order because of all the, the discussion we sparked about the, the stop loss, right? So here we have where it was. Let me just draw it so it's going to be more visual for you. So here is where our stop loss were. Let me make it thicker. Yes. And then here is where our take profit was. Uh, wait. Let me change it to the, the blue line that they kept before. Okay. So then this is the how we set it up the order the take profit was here, right? And then uh, this order or well, the, both the take profit and the stop loss were on the same risk, so around 540 points or 54 pips, and then it was hit here. Now, if we check the order itself, then the, it reached 1,400 points, so if uh, we're trading on 0 0.01, so then that will be uh, $14... Am I doing right, the math? Yes, it's going to be a $14.30 uh, loss, before the market went back and actually would have hit uh, the take profit not only once but then two times, right? So then if we had no stop loss and we had enough margin to hold this order uh, on when you was losing this, this minus of uh, $14, 14 to $15, then uh, eventually this order will have come back and then we'll have one more positive here, right? So, but then the, the risk will be that uh, what if the market doesn't come back? What if the market com keeps coming to one single direction? And let's say like historically, right? Let's say we had the sell over here, right? Until we can close the, the order for one full lot, we would be losing 2,581, right? Or on this specific account or trading on 0.01, you have a minus $25 on one single order, which should be like more than uh, what I've done in any of the other orders right so then that's where the risk come from so as always just be careful on what is the decision on the take profit or the stop loss uh, let me remove the lines no. uh, let me and move on uh, move back to the auto chartist 
so what I'm gonna do is that uh, me I'm personally a very good I'm a big fan of supports and resistance so then I'm just gonna place a few trades here uh, just to make sure that uh, we get the, the account running right so make sure that we still have the, the account uh, being traded and we can see what will happen uh, if we just follow blindly the, the auto charges so then which one is the euro AUD so we'll go back to euro euro AUD there you go and then this is gonna be we're on the M30 and then it's gonna be a buy I'll just copy the forecast price so let me see if I can do it automatically so then let me raise to 0 0.1 and then it's gonna be a buy I click two times on the TP I have make sure that's on the modify order and then I'll paste the, the TP here so it's here right so then if it's the take profit we're gonna have a six dollars profit uh, now I'm not gonna put a stop loss just because I want to test the the limits of the of the strategy and then we just keep doing this uh, we can keep uh, alternating right last time we used the uh, stop losses this time we're not gonna use stop losses and then we can use the stop loss next time or we will see how we feel about it right? so we're just gonna place a few more trades here so the second one is the GBP cat and I make sure that I'm not trading the same um, the same pairs right so if you ask for example a GBP AUD then I'll just have skip it because we're trading means that we're trading something of the AUD two times so the GBP CAD let me copy the forecast price because that's gonna be the, the take profit and it's gonna be a buy but the picture there it sounds very good like even this one and like both of them is, is showing a very strong uh, on the candle side right candle see canal is a strong um, bullish uh, trend so makes me more makes me trust more their their analysis so it's a GBP not AUD GBP CAD GBP CAD you want to place a buy click two times on the take profit make sure it's on the modify order go here on the take profit paste and then done this is our order then uh, I think I'll just do the same thing as last time I'm just gonna place one more I'm not gonna go for the the Hong Kong one because uh, it's a pair with a lower liquidity than the other majors and minors. Uh, AUD already trading one AUD, we're already trading one euro. Well, I think we cannot, uh, yeah, cannot run too much from it. As well, those analysis is gonna be kind of too late. Uh, okay, let's do the USD Hong Kong right. It's let's let's see how it goes again like since this is a, a demo then uh, it's okay for us to take these risks and then we can actually test the like I said the limit of the stretch so USD Hong Kong dollars USD where are you okay here is the Hong Kong dollars and then you was a uh, buy yes so we're gonna buy and then we're gonna place Oh, I didn't copy. Why are you not working? Oh, it's not working. So let's do many. Set seven nine seven nine seven seven. Okay, let's see. Yes, this place is right. So if we hit, oh, so low. If we profit, we're gonna profit only forty cents, zero point thirty nine USD. But it's okay. Uh, as long as we're profiting we are happy right and actually on this one I didn't check how much would profit if it hits so I'm just gonna mouse over this is a two dollars fifty two uh, cents if it profits well well there you go we have the the three orders for today uh, another thing is that we always have to keep checking the equity and not the balance balance is everything that's already closed so that's why the balance is 2.43 which is the the profit we done, we did last time uh, we're gonna be checking more the equity especially next time if we still have the open orders because the equity will be the balance 
plus whatever you have in open order. So because my open orders, they are losing money, that's why my equity is lower than the balance, and that's the number, number one to follow. So uh, we're hopefully keeping this equity above the 1,000, which is the, the initial capital we had here that, that we started, and we'll keep tracking this for the next time. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see next time what's the, the outcome of the account.